Hello friends, so this is a quick blog on error propagation. Now what do we mean by that? I mean in a scenario where we are trying to load multiple flat files or excel files or CSVs, uh, there would be chances that when we are trying to process uh, multiple files, say we have processing 25 files, they, they could be an error in one of the file, like the 10th file. and, and uh, you would not want your SSIS package to stop loading when the when there is an error in a particular file. You would want to leave the file as as is and proceed with loading the next uh, next file in line or in the queue. So we have to to uh, simulate that scenario. What we have here is a, an employee table of uh, four columns: employee ID, name, salary, and department. Uh, the uh, and we have the flat files uh, and an archive folder so the landing folder or the directory is is uh, this one and we have we will be archiving the processed files here now it ha we have created three uh, demo files with uh, some records to be loaded into the tables uh, now in the, ha in the happy situation where everything goes well we try to load these files and then archive that so what we see here is we see all the data has been loaded uh, three records each from uh, each of the files so they have been loaded into our table and they have been archived as well but consider a situation when I induce an error say I induce simple error instead of salary being an uh, of int value I I change it to alphanumeric or, or the var cat. So there is an error in, in file 2. So let's see what happens in this scenario. In this scenario, the, when, we run the, when we run the SSIS package, there is a failure. So what is it all about? We can see uh, in the database, the file 1 has been loaded and there has been an error in file 2 and because of which file 3 which was perfectly fine could not be loaded now how do we actually leave file 2 and yet move on with the with processing file 3 we, that is what we are going to learn in this in this uh, situation in, in this uh, blog actually so let's see how we can move with processing the rest of the files so let's go to the event handler what we do is uh, our data flow task is actually loading the files so from the event handler we select the data flow task and on error event we try to pull out the variables click on the variable and, and see there is C for the value propagate so what this does is it propagates the, the error up you know from 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 bottom up the chain so we want so let's just set it to false so that even if there is an error occurring it will not uh, propagate the error from the data flow tasks to the next for each loop so so the for each loop will not sense the error and hence it will continue processing so that is the change again uh, let me iterate what we are doing is we are setting the propagate value uh, variables value to false which means the chain uh, error chain would not be propagated from the error uh, from the task where the error occurs so we are setting the propagate value to false for the data flow task error event handler which means when the data flow task uh, experiences an error in loading it will not propagate that error onto the for each loop and hence the for each loop will not uh, know of the error and it will continue processing for the next file so that's all the change is and now let's we have placed all the three files now let's try to uh, truncate the table and process so we have processed so what we see here is we have loaded two files that is the first and the third one and both of them have been archived and we can see that the uh, file 2 with the error is still there in the landing folder additionally I can uh, we can actually log these values we can log the uh, table uh, sorry the file which has not been processed uh, we can actually create uh, an or on error scenario and uh, okay. 
so we can actually create a on error scenario and then uh, go ahead and process these uh, and, I mean log the file where the error has occurred I mean from here so I am leaving that uh, to you guys for now and I close this blog here thank you